it's still not clear exactly why people feel blue. Yes, it does have something to do with serotonin. This is why medicines that increase serotonin levels can help people who are feeling miserable feel a little better. But it doesn't always work and it takes a while to see the benefit. This is a little odd because the drugs bump up serotonin levels immediately. As scientists have continued to dive into the story of depression, another chemical, kynorinic acid, has been implicated. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we explore how a pair of running shoes can solve the problem. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps, and other health horribles through Better Body Chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Let's start off by calling it something more accessible. It's nicknamed Kina. I kind of like this. It's a lot easier to say. So, where does Kina come from? Actually, it's made from the same basic building block that serotonin is made from, tryptophan. When you eat a protein-rich meal containing lots of tryptophan, the tryptophan can be used to build you, or it can be converted to the neurotransmitter serotonin, or it can be changed into alkyurinin. From here, it is converted to kina by an enzyme called CAT, or kyurinin aminotransferase. So, what is made when? Well, it depends. We know that the more stressed you are, the more kina is made. And when all is said and done, more kina, especially more kina in the brain, is problematic. Kina influences brain neurotransmitter patterns, contributing to the blues. But Kina is kind of complicated. The reason Kina itself is not able to get inside of your brain. So how much Kina gets into the brain is related to how much tryptophan is converted to kyurinin in your body. Depressed people, well, they just simply have more kyurinin relative to tryptophan in their body. And this leaves them with more kyna inside their brains. Aish, I said it was complicated. It's a tale of two kinas. Researchers from the Karolinsky Institute have managed to piece together some of the biochemistry behind the Kina story. Believe it or not, the story begins in the muscles. The Karolinsky researchers set about creating super fit mice. They cheated a little. The mice were not required to do hours and hours of training in the lab on an exercise wheel. Instead, they were genetically gifted with fitness. Hmm. Don't you wish you could get this gift too? Anyway, the fitness gene these mice received was extra copies of the gene PGC1-alpha1. If you regularly work out, you automatically have this gene firing on all four cylinders. Next, the team subject two groups of mice to a little stress. They were forced to live through multiple earthquakes as they shook their cages and flashing lights and during all nighters. The trauma went on for several weeks. Now the normal mice flipped out. They became depressed. 
the special super fit mice did not get all shook up by all the shaking. They took all the trauma in their stride. The reason they were so much more resilient, muscles with more PGC1 alpha 1 also have more cat. Remember, this is the enzyme that turns kynurenin into kyna. And more kyna in the muscles means, well, less kynurenin in the general circulation. So less kynurenin is able to get into the brain, so you end up with less kyna in the brain. Kinda amazing. Exercise is an antidepressant. Fit muscles can help mop up some of those stresses. So one way to protect yourself from the blues is to move more. You end up creating better body chemistry. Want to discover more tips and strategies to help you create better body chemistry? Visit our website while you're there. Browse our library or sign up for one of our free e-courses. Advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone battling the blues? Help them create better body chemistry by sharing this video with them. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future tips and strategies. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Better Body Chemistry TV. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.